In this problem, we're going to solve an equation with two square roots. Here we have the square root of x, and here we have the square root of x minus 8, so solution. So generally, when you have two square roots, what you want to do is you want to solve for one of them first, and then square both sides. So in this case, uh, it might be easier to subtract this guy. So if we subtract the square root of x from both sides, they cancel here, and we end up with the square root of x minus 8, x minus 8 equals, here we have the 2, so it'll be 2 minus the square root of x. So 2 minus the square root of x. Again, keep in mind we're looking for x, but it's kind of trapped inside the square root. So what we'll do is we'll square both sides to get rid of the square root. So over here you have x minus 8. Now here you can, you can do this, you can write this as 2 minus square root of x, 2 minus square root of x, and, and multiply everything out. But there's there's a faster way, so fast way. So if you have a minus b, and the whole thing is being squared, uh, the way to remember this formula is you square the first piece, then you multiply a and b and you double them, so it's minus 2ab, and then you square the last piece, so b squared. Super useful formula, it's, it's worth learning. Um, so here, a is the 2, that's the first piece, so 2 squared is 4, minus, now 2 times the square root of x is just 2 square root x. You double it, you get 4 square root x. And then you square the last piece, and that just gives you x. Right, that's because the square root of x times the square root of x is just x. So when you square that last piece, uh, you just get x. At this point, keep in mind we're looking for the square for x, but it's trapped under the square root still. So what we'll do is simplify and solve for the square root of x. So we have negative 8 equals 4 minus 4 square root of x. So we're solving for this. Subtract 4. So we get negative 12 equals negative 4 square root of x. All right, we're almost done. Again, we're looking for this. So there's a few things left to do, but it's not hard. So this is being multiplied by negative 4, so to get rid of the negative 4, we divide. So here we have 3 equals the square root of x. Finally, we're in a position where we have isolated the square root of x. So we'll square both sides. So we end up with, I'll write it over here, x equals 9. Now, whenever you have an equation with square roots, it's a good idea to check. So the original equation, so the OG equation was the square root of x plus the square root of x minus 8 equals 2. So we're going to check 9. That means we're going to take 9 and we're going to plug it back into the original equation. So 9 is going to go where the x's are. So we get square root of 9 plus, let's see, 9 minus 8 is 1. So we get square root of 1 equals 2. So the square root of 9 is 3. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 2. So 4 is equal to 2. That's ridiculous. No way. So in this case, 9 is not an answer. We couldn't find one. So there is no solution.